Hello, I'm Debbie Turner-Bell. In March, we told you about a remarkable young girl who at nine years old was fighting leukemia and given only weeks to live. Her dying wish was to be a bride. So her family threw her a wedding and she married her seven-year-old best friend. Jayla Cooper recently lost her battle with leukemia, but she won a lot of hearts along the way. She was an extraordinary bride in many ways. Just nine years old and bravely battling leukemia, it was Jayla Cooper's dream to have a wedding with her best friend, Jose Griggs. On her wedding day, she wore a white dress with a watermelon pink sash, her favorite color, and walked down the aisle with her dad. She looked beautiful, she was perfect in every way, and she was happy. My favorite part with dancing was Jose. What song did you dance to? Love Bug. Jayla and Jose danced to Love Bug, a song by her favorite group, the Jonas Brothers. And soon after, we were able to give Jayla the chance to meet them. They even sang Jayla's wedding song just for her. Now I'm speechless, over the edge, I'm just breathless. I never thought that I'd catch this. Love bug again. May I have a hug? Sadly, on April 1st, this brave little girl lost her fight with leukemia. Although her life was very short, the way she lived it is a lesson to us all. She's changed my life. Our whole family has learned from Jayla and has learned not to take life for granted and to spend every moment you have making each other happy. What a precious young lady and a special family. You know, I travel all over the country. I meet hundreds of people and do lots of stories, but I will never forget Jayla Cooper and her spirit, her love of life and her courage. When I interviewed her, I asked her, are you afraid? And she said no, that she was more worried about her family and how they were gonna be after she left than about herself, and that truly is amazing. Jayla had a mind of her own, and she had very definite ideas, and so she planned her own funeral. First of all, she did not want it to be called a funeral. She wanted it to be a celebration of life. She picked the scriptures, she picked the music, and she even picked the color theme. Her favorite color was watermelon pink, and so she requested that everyone who attended wear watermelon pink. And I did just that. My producer and I, Lisa Weiss, were honored to be invited to Jayla's Celebration of Life when we went with our pink on. And it was both heartwarming and heartbreaking at the same time. But Jayla wanted people to celebrate. So afterwards, she also planned a party, a dinner. And so we went to dinner after the ceremony. And the tables were decorated beautifully. There were orchids and candles and lots of wonderful pictures of Jayla. And it was difficult, but everyone smiled and they remembered the wonderful things about Jayla, which was so easy to do. It's hard to understand why a nine-year-old dies, especially this particular nine-year-old. But in Jayla's death, we all learned how to live. I'll never forget her. She touched the hearts and the lives of everyone that met her. God bless you, Jayla Cooper.